So it looks like the Boys Planet signal song just dropped. It's called Here I Am. Let's just get into this. Man, this girl's spying on these guys from really far away with those binoculars. I want to get a pair of binoculars just like that. Hey, you know who this guy looks like? You know Extinary Heroes, the keyboardist. I forgot his name. But anyways, before Extinary Heroes had their debut, they had a kind of pre-debut where they just look like normal guys. And I actually liked their looks in the pre-debut videos. And I was hoping they'd look like that. And then when they actually like later on they started to punk them all up and had like like red streaks in their hair or something right they became they became actually extinary and I, and I think I preferred them when they were ordinary but this guy looks like the way I wanted that keyboardist to look but then like the keyboardist I think he needs to lift a few weights or something but uh, this guy he looks way more filled out this is kind of like how you kind of want that that guy to look anyways hey I like this guy's face I like his look. Seems like a nice okay guy. Hey, it's one one group K group, and oh my goodness, you can't even see because I'm blocking it. Let's see if I can get smaller. All right, see this guy up sitting near the brim of my hat. Is that G group? Hey, what's this? Is that the pendant? It looks like the Niji project pendant. I like this guy's look. It's just a nice, gentle, normal guy look. It's just me or these suits seem uh, kind of thin of material. Not very substantial. What is this kind of pin? Oh, I was just catching the light funny. It's like a strange ninja star. Hey, they actually have Boys Planet embroidered on to the I just want to see get a look, good look at these guys I like this guy's face he seems happy like he seems like a cool guy but look at this guy is, is this the roguish bad guy I have in my bingo card look at him wow it's like a Pokemon arena look at that from the right and the left they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna come together. Very close. This song is very different from the original oh, 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 oh song. Whoa! It looks like Angel from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Is this the vampire? Is this the guy who's gonna have strange hobbies? Hey, this guy looked a little, not that enthusiastic. Not, where is he? This guy, it's like, do I really have to do this today? This guy, happy. Hey, hey, you want some of my, uh, you want some of my, uh, rice? This guy looked like a petite guy. That spinning move is really, like, attention grabbing. So, uh, are these the same two center guys from before? Did, so, I, I'm guessing they already got ranked. And that's why they're in the center. And that's why they're like being highlighted. They must be like both number ones of foreign group and the Korean group. I, I think this dance could go harder. I think they could dance a little harder. Whoa! They cut away from the interesting people too, too quickly. Is it just me? Or does this feel unusually long? This guy doesn't even have a normal tie. He's like the colonel. Does he sell chicken? Look at that. That's a nice little bow he got. This guy... I'll look forward to this guy. Let's see what he does. Why are their outfits different? I remember in Girls Planet, uh, the first outfits were kind of like strange. But then I noticed near the end of the show, they changed up the outfits. And they kind of like gave him a better cut. I think they gave him a jacket. So these are obviously like made a very like flimsy material like by the end are they gonna get like a full spacesuit do they get to customize this for their personality like why does this guy get a stripe on his arm how come he's alone what happened to the other guy is he not equal who's this guy 
He seems to have light in the colored contact. Whoa! This guy just bit the diamond into a heart. He must be one of hey, and he has those uh, he has like those uh, Texan, those cowboy like neckties. I think he's gonna be one of the uh, younger looking kind of cute boy characters. He, you've got to have like a variety of different looks. You gotta have the cute guy, like the cute young like baby looking guy. You gotta have like the uh, striking kind of like roguish bad looking guy, like a tough guy. You gotta have a uh, pretty boy, like a guy who's just like extremely pretty. Could almost be a female if you put long hair in them, you know. And you gotta have like like the leader who's like just a stern looking normal guy. <laughs> this guy on the left, if you put long hair in him, he could be a really okay looking girl. This guy. Is that what a charming and sincere smile he just put on? I like this guy's vibe. This guy tried to shoot me. This guy too. But he's surprised by my reaction. I don't I don't think these guys should do. <laughs> I don't think guys should do ending fairies. I think it's it's kinda weird to me. Look at this guy. A cute boy, right? One of the tiny boys. Supposed to be a cute boy. Look, he doesn't even notice that a piece of like confetti has fallen on his hair. This is a normal looking guy. Could be leader. Now, this guy's a different looking guy. Let me, let me go. I don't know how to step back. Is there like a command to step back on YouTube? I don't know. This guy, he looks like an older guy. Right? He's like the Kevin of Backstreet Boys. That guy, he, he could have been in a soap opera. Look at this guy. He's, he's, he's trying to be too cool. He, I, I feel like this may be the, this guy might be our ego guy. Like he, he may have conflict if he's like too cool. I like this guy. He has an okay face. I don't know why that guy was touching his lip like that. Why do these guys keep like trying to do the gun guns with their hands? This guy, he knows his thing. He's a tiny skinny guy, kind of like supposed to be a smaller cuter boy and he's doing the hearts. These these guys seem to know their roles and I don't know if there's like it's a common thing for people to know where they fit in. I know that that was kind of the case in Girls Planet too. Like some people they're like, "Oh yeah, this girl's the Macnay. She just knows that's what she is. She is she has a cute vibe." This guy, he looks uh, a little insecure. Is this the main guy? I, I like his look, and I think he's like talented, obviously. But there's a, there's a, I don't know if there's a realness. That I don't, I feel like, is he real? Is he really real? Like, does he, does he give you this vibe of like an authentic person? Maybe, like some people, they work so hard that they don't get chance to be real. Now, we'll get to see more of him, because I don't know his personality yet. I'll find out in the intro videos. I'm going to go meticulously through the intro videos. I learned a way to classify these guys from one of my students who actually put me on to Girls Planet in the first place, because she knew I liked uh, competition shows. And she's like, this is how I rank them. It's the same way, uh, she's like, that's the same way I ranked it when I was like working for a, uh, a dance company, entertainment company, whatever. Because uh, she was like a trainee or something. Hey, what happened to the co co leader at the end? Why did they kind of see this guy has such a good look? Like I like this guy's look. He looks like my big brother. Right? So that's what reminds me of my big brother. My big brother is the handsome one, by the way. <laughs> He's the handsome one with a normal voice. But anyways, he he reminds me of that. He has a nice look. Right? It's a it's a, it's a good kid. Right? Like he'd be the star of a drama, and you'd be behind him. This guy would be like, the guy standing beside him, he might be a bad guy at first and then he'll turn around and become a good guy later. But they'll be rivals at first, right? That's, that's the way, that's the vibe I get from that guy. Like this guy, like you don't really know where he stands. But this guy, you could kind of already know. I don't, now I don't know if the show starts and he has a bad personality, but uh, I don't think that's the case. This shoulder thing, I don't really like that shoulder. I think that, the, I think these moves could be a little bit more masculine. Like some of them, they're just, I, I don't know why this whole anthem, it's a little bit soft. I think that it needs to be more multifaceted because even in OOO, I think there was like a hard dance part. And I feel like the guys could have used that, but I don't know why they didn't. Is that the only guy with blue hair? Do you remember when uh, Surichi came out? This guy's got like blue hair. It's kind of greenish a little bit too. A little bit like a Joker thing going on. But I actually like his build. 
This guy, I just like his face. I think I feel like he's like a happy, like a happy person. I just feel like he's gonna be like a good mood. You know what? He, he reminds me of Day Sung from Big Bang. That's that's his thing. And I felt that way when I first saw Day Sung as well. I was like, I bet this guy's gonna make me really happy when I look at him. You know what I mean? Like he's gonna like do all this funny stuff to entertain me. He's gonna be like the cool, cool guy in the group. He's just like he's a little bit self-deprecating, but also like just funny and just like is okay with it. And I don't know anything about these guys. I'm sure, like, some of you guys do. I don't want any spoilers, by the way. <laughs> I don't want to know if any of these guys are already, like, debuted or anything. I like to judge people that are just completely on the merit of what I see when they present. Look at this guy. He's got such striking features. Like, he just makes this roguish bad guy look. He's, like, he's just the, the guy who walks in topless with a huge sword in, like, an anime or something. Was there a tunnel? What do you think is the function of this tunnel? Oh yeah, those guys in the center. That's how they get in, right? Why'd they make it look so fancy? Why didn't they just put a curtain? This guy, he's got one of those, like, older masculine looks. If anyone's watching right now, you're, like, if you're still with me, even though it's like 20 minutes in and I'm watching it again, let me ask you something. Do you think visuals trump everything else? given there's like a mediocre level of like performance required. Like if you're an okay dancer and you can pull off the dance move and you're an okay singer and like a lead vocal can kind of carry the group, do you think visuals otherwise trump every other quality? Let me know. And if that's the case, who do you think is like the best looking one? And maybe you have a timestamp or something, but who do you think is good? Because I don't know what's good looking according to other people, right? And, and when it comes to guys, I'm really like different as well, right? Because a guy is going to see another guy in a different way. We're, we're going to look at them for like, just like what we see as familiar character features that like lead to different types of personalities. Uh, but we don't really know like, like what does a, what does a woman swoon over? Like what does she, what does she find attractive in another guy? I assume it's just manly men, but you know, like there's a lot of pretty boys in K-pop and there must be a reason that people must really like them. So, whoa, every time I see this guy, it's like, this is a vampire. This guy. Very average looking guy, but a nice looking average guy. It's very interesting that like, 90% 90 90 of these guys are just not going to get their dream. And, you know, I think it's going to be hard to whittle it down. When, when, in Girls Planet, when they're like, there were 99 girls in Girls Planet as well. Uh, but I think that you could have had... They could have had three groups of girls from Girls Planet. Actually, you probably could have had like ten groups of girls from Girls Planet, but uh, this one, who knows? Who knows how hard it is going to be to whittle them down at the end. This is why I think early faves always plays a big role in competition shows. Because like, people, people are very loyal who are viewers at home. And you know, like even if someone, like, if someone blows you away in the first episode, and then like, you like them a lot, but then like, maybe they're mediocre through the rest of the show, I think that people tend to stick to that, and I, I've seen it so many times because, like, I'm just like always into like these competition shows, and people just attach to it. But, but when someone is really good, exceptionally good, I do see people flip over, and they're like, "Oh, this is a good person. I gotta support." So, this is, I guess it's a healthy mix of both. And I wonder if like the show actually manipulates some of that as well. I want to take a look at one of these guys. This guy. Who does it remind me of? I can't quite place it. Um, he reminds me of a girl, but I'm not sure who. One of the girl in K-pop. Hey, remember when this guy disappeared? <laughs> Man, these pyrotechnics, they're crazy. It's an actual fireworks show. I wonder if there's any, like, injuries. That wasn't very hard of a dance, though. Like, just when those fireworks came out, like, I expected them to be dancing way harder. This guy, he reminds me of, he reminds me of someone. Like a Japanese, Japanese actress or something. I think that if he had long hair, he'd be, he'd look, he'd look like a girl. Ending fairies. This guy has a very interesting face. Reminds me of like a college bro. That guy bit it. 
I think I actually like this guy. I think that he can go far. But he, I don't know if he's like he has to step over the boundary, I think, of becoming like a star. Because right now he's like he's like the peak of normalcy. Right? And I think that if he steps over the boundary, well, we'll have to see him in action because we don't know yet. Where'd you get that from? And why does it match your hair color? This this guy caused the confetti to fall on the other guy's hair. Look at that. Confetti in his hair. This guy, he's like doing his ending fairy, but he's distracted by his look in the camera. He's probably trying to find the monitor with himself on it to see how he looks, if he's okay. He's a little insecure, maybe. This guy is kind of like... <laughs> he reminds me of Mashiro. I like this guy. Look at that. That's such a good smile. Even if it's fake, it's a good smile. And this guy shot me too. I remember that the last time. And then he got surprised. <laughs> this guy, tiny cute guy. This guy, he's okay. He's a normal looking guy. I actually think he'll be like a good friend to people. Is... I'm gonna rate them on whether they show it. Well, in the introductions, I noticed that they don't always show if they can dance or sing. And so we're kind of looking at them from a personality standpoint and how well they present themselves. So if they do sing, they get points. If they do dance, they get points that elevate them. But visuals can like highly elevate them as well. And so you have those three aspects of what you can judge them by if they show you all of them. But visuals is the one you all see by default. And then... I like to judge people on sincerity, and the reason I judge sincerity is that sincerity is a really important quality that connects to people. So like, if someone is sincere, and they're kind of like real and down to earth, and they're like a real human being, that you can kind of like, you can kind of guess that you're going to connect with them as a performer. Like there, it's not to say that there aren't really like phony people who can't connect to people, because there are people like, like very much glee club kind of people or theater kind of people who are kind of like a little bit in the clouds, but they perform so well that it's like, yeah, they're good performers. But then like, do you connect with them and can they be an idol? That's why I like sincerity because you can really connect with them. But sincerity is also a sign of a personality trait uh, of honesty, really. Because if someone is sincere and honest, then you know that when they're learning to sing or when they're learning to dance or when they're like preparing choreography or performance, you know that their honesty and sincerity is improving their talent. Because if you have those qualities, then you can, you can adequately judge yourself. You can adequately uh, analyze and, and self-improve. And so I really like sincerity as a, as a judging point. And I actually learned this from one of my students because she was like saying the same thing. It's like, oh yeah, the more sincere someone is, the, the probably better they're going to be in terms of like how they can perform and stuff. And so I'm looking for that. Like, but some people, they're just like actors. They're just born to be kind of like a little bit phony, but like they're not, not to disparage it in a bad way or anything. But some people are just born to be kind of like from the theater, you know? And so uh, I guess that's it. I'm looking forward to the introduction videos. There's going to be 99, 99 introduction videos, if they do that again, dropping. And then we're going to be able to like really get into the nitty gritty and I'm gonna I'm probably gonna be a little bit mean more mean than I was here I think I try to resist being too mean because I don't know anything about these guys so I don't really know uh, and it's kind of like yeah it's shallow to judge them based on just what little we see but when I get into those introductions I'm probably gonna be like what was it? I can't remember the I have to ask again but there was a ranking system like like j based on their visuals their look their danceability sincerity uh, you can put someone into, like, a B-class rating or an A-class rating or, like, something like that. Like, And then you can, like, rate them all and, like, say, hey, this is definitely someone who's going to be in this ranking. And, you know, me, it could be, like, that I just, like, it could be that someone can dance and sing a little bit, but maybe they have a visual and it just, like, it drops them really low. And that's just a reality that I'm going to have to, like, uh, put on you guys if you're watching. Uh, but... Or they could have, like, 
singing mediocrely, dancing mediocrely, but then there'll be like really handsome, look, good looking guy. And then, like, I could just like say, hey, this guy should be like, if you want to sell a lot of albums, if you want to like have a visual appeal and like have the group look good and sell well, then you're going to have a, have this nice visual guy who like does okay in every other area. Anyways, I'm over explaining things that are quite obvious. I guess that's pretty much it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. And if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing so I can see you in the next video.